Okay, good morning. This is story time. I haven't done a video in about a week or so. I've uh, just been real busy uh, handling a bunch of stuff. So, uh, getting back on track here. Um, so, a little story time here. It's not a good story. Uh, I get a call yesterday um, from somebody whose client is a veteran. Well, actually, he's serving in the military, excuse me, and overseas. And they got uh, denied, I guess, a day or two before closing, which is insane. And it was all because of financially. Um, so kind of what we have done, you know, and been doing it for years, and you guys heard me talk about it before, is that we pre-underwrite the files up front. So anytime, you know, we have somebody where it's a scenario and anything else, this, this is the advantage that we have. Um, basically, you know, our underwriters work with us as a team. It's not something like you're thrown in a black hole. And this is where systems and processes come in. Um, if you don't have the right systems and processes and the right people uh, executing those systems, then you're gonna have issues like this. And so basically, everything that they could have done on the front end, they should have done on the front end. Any questions, any scenarios, because every file, you know, is not gonna be the same. You know, there's gonna be some some files where it's where it's very vanilla. And it's, you know, basically, you know, like it's, it's self-explanatory. But when you have scenarios, um, you know, that stuff has to be vetted out on the front end. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the file. We, you know, we pre-underwrite the file. What I mean by that is before a contract, we underwrite all of our files. Um, so it's not just a pre-approval you're getting. You're getting almost a mortgage commitment. You've heard me talk about this before. Uh, technically, it's not a mortgage commitment because you don't have a property, you don't have title, you don't have home insurance, so you're missing some things. But technically, it is uh, financially. We get all that stuff done on the front end, and our turnaround time is within 24 hours. So we've got two SOS deals that came in uh, within the last few days here. One of them was an appraisal issue, and this one was just a veteran just getting screwed, uh, which infuriates me and pisses me off because... All this stuff should have been done on the front end. And when you don't have that, and when you don't do that, and sometimes it's not even a, the one officer's fault because they're just in a bad system. I know a lot of good LOs out there, uh, but they're just stuck in a bad system. I've been there uh, where you can't get anything done. And it's and there's so many parts when you deal with the mortgage business uh, that people don't see. People always just wanna open up a mortgage company and this and that from a different part of the industry. Uh, you better have everything in sync and everything in line. And even then, there's still going to be some things that pop up. But anything from the pre-approval process, knowing the right questions to ask. Uh, I posted something earlier today uh, that I've learned early on in the mortgage business is that you're not going to know all the answers, but you better know the questions to ask and where to find those answers. And if you don't have that team around you, you don't have that system around you, uh, this is this is the type of stuff that blows up on you. Um, so, anyway, it, it's it's very important to do that. Uh, we call them TBD underwrites to be determined, meaning the property uh, underwrites, and we do that on every single file. We don't just do on files that we're a little bit. No, we want to get everything underwritten, and then we want to start clearing the conditions. And this is before contract, so that's why we can turn around these things super quick when we have to and jump in. Uh, and, and really, you know, execute and, and you know, everybody's happy. So um, that should never happen, you know, at this late in the game. Like I said, mistakes happen. Uh, we all make them. I get it. But when you're dealing with somebody's biggest purchase in the most stressful time, especially when they're serving overseas, you got to do the homework. You got to get everything flushed out, all the questions done. Um, because if you don't, you're going to get burned. And it's not you loan officer getting burned, but you're, you're burning and you're hurting a lot of other people. And I don't think people understand that per transaction, I've posted this many times in years in the past, per transaction, you're actually affecting roughly about 25 plus people. Now, most people don't see that because they say, okay, I got the client, I got the realtor, I got the listing side, okay, title and so forth. But you're not understanding the effect of the families, the sellers, uh, their families, uh, the buyers, their families. Uh, and when you when you don't understand what is or don't take it seriously, um, and, and be you know pretty flippant about it, and this was a this was a so-called VA lender, um, 
you know, you see him on a commercial, very, very frustrating um, because, you know, behind the scenes, you know, I kind of know their operation and how they kind of do it. Uh, and, and they get that hook because, hey, we're out for we're out for people serving and people who are veterans and, and so forth. And it's uh, it's pretty disgusting, honestly, especially when they make a mistake like this. And, and it, this wasn't even like a calculation mistake. It was just a scenario uh, type of mistake that they didn't even get that answered on the front end. They just, you know, and that's the thing when you put when you put your application in and you take the and this is the other part, you know, it's not only the right question to ask, but when at the point of application people take this lightly and they shouldn't that is where everything can start and and uh, meaning that if you don't ask the right questions if you don't complete it the right way and you don't know the scenario you don't ask those questions to get the scenarios you know worked on on the front end to make sure things don't blow up this is what happens and this is how stuff blows up at the end so in the frustrating part of the other frustrating part about it is that in the industry and it's the same thing, I guess, with title and, and mortgage, uh, real estate and, and some other parts of the industry. Um, <clears throat> people aren't, a lot of times people aren't taught the right way. I was blessed to be taught the right way. And then I just, you know, started getting coaching after the crash uh, and, and so forth. So this October is going to be 20 years in the industry, man. It's just insane. Absolutely insane. So um, can't believe it. So I'm losing all, lost all my hair pretty much uh, so you know when you when you're taking the application and, and you're doing all that stuff I know I'm going off on a tangent here but it's important um, because if you don't know the right questions and you're not detailed enough to get that flush out and then when you know those questions but you can't get quick answers that's where the team comes in and who you're partnering up with so um, anyway well, that's our top priority this morning we're going to jump on that one uh, make sure we get all our uh, questions answered and everything else. I got some of them answered um, last night from my underwriter, Danny, who's a superstar, and uh, Danny and Ginger. Ginger's awesome uh, as well. So we got some awesome, awesome underwriters. But it makes us look good. If you don't have that right system, you don't get those questions answered quickly, it can blow up in your face and every points a gun at you, as they should. So that's my little rant for this morning. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with this one. I think we can um, make it work. It's just a matter of uh, finishing up the application and, and hooking them up. So she's serving in Qatar and uh, we're gonna try and make it as easy as possible for her. So anyway, um, if you've got any questions, comments or anything else, comment down below. Uh, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262. Nine two two nine. Have a great day, everybody. Should be at the office here in a few minutes.